Morphine is used as a medicine to manage pain, but here's the problem. It's also highly addictive, and once addicted, it can cause a lot of significant effects on the brain. So, what exactly is this drug? Why is it addictive? What does it do to the brain? Well, if all these questions are in your mind, just stay tuned in till the end of the video, and it will all be answered today. Morphine is actually a naturally occurring opiate which is produced from the opium poppy plant that is found in Southeast Asia. The drug has medicinal value, but it also has a very high potential for abuse and addiction. The potential for addiction is due to the fact that morphine makes humans feel deeply relaxed and gives them a state of euphoria. Also, it removes pain and that's the reason why it's also often used as an anesthesia during surgeries or for pain management in terminal cancer patients. In fact, some doctors might even prescribe the drug for pain relief after an injury, and it can be taken as IV, injection, or in pill form. Now, let's get a little scientific. How does morphine affect the brain? Well, the drug binds to the opioid receptors in our brain, which blocks the pain signals from reaching the nervous system. Even if you take a daily dose for as little as one month, your brain can change significantly. First of all, neuroplasticity is decreased. Neuroplasticity is the ability of our brain to react to information and develop accordingly. For example, when you first visit a place, you have to concentrate on the way, but after a while, if it's a daily routine, your brain just takes you there on autopilot. Neuroplasticity also makes us react to pain or any extreme conditions around us, and morphine reduces this whole ability. Morphine also causes psychomotor impairment. The term psychomotor refers to the connections between our mental functions and our muscular functions. That causes our body's ability to move according to external conditions. However, morphine leads to psychomotor impairment, which means these connections are disrupted and the way you talk, move, and carry on your regular activities is all affected greatly. That's not all. Morphine also makes you feel better due to the release of a flood of dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that makes humans feel good. This release of the feel-good hormone is what makes you crave morphine and leads to addiction. The brain develops in a way that the person only seeks pleasure through morphine instead of the usual pleasure sources. This release of dopamine might sound good, but a morphine addiction has extreme consequences. Not everyone with a morphine dependence actually develops an addiction, but mostly if you abuse morphine and take it by snorting, smoking, or injecting, the risk of addiction and overdose gets higher. An addiction to morphine affects one's physical, mental, and behavioral aspects. And when the addiction wears off, there are extreme withdrawal effects, as well as including nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, dizziness, loss of appetite, muscle aches, irritability, restlessness, and extreme anxiety.